Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. As you know, earlier on I put out a video, uh, WWE 2K17 uh, reveal trailer as Brock Lesnar is the WWE 2K17 official uh, face on the cover of the game. So we're back and we're going to do a raw preview for tonight's 27th of June edition of Monday Night Raw 2016. So here we go. Uh, on WWE.com it states, could Dean Ambrose instability work in his favour as champion? Basically what he's saying, could Dean Ambrose reign work? As in, because as you heard, I don't know if you heard, but on the news, like the WWE News, Wrestling News, they're saying uh, Dean Ambrose's reign as WWE World Heavyweight Champion might come to an end shortly. Uh, I don't know when this is, probably at Battleground or early as before SummerSlam probably. They'll probably give it to um, Roman Reigns again. As you know, he's going to come back. He's suspended at the moment 30 days for the wellness uh, policy. So he might come back, turn heel and go against Dean Ambrose, which would be an amazing feud, like honestly, come on. Um, yeah, uh, so another one is, will John Cena need backup against the club? Uh, so they're basically teasing, would John Cena need any backup against AJ Styles, Carl Lentz and, and Luke Gallows? Um, to be honest, in my opinion, I think they're going to do like a, a shield thing again, like but with the club. So they're going to have like another six-man tag team like throughout the roars uh, coming up to Battleground or SummerSlam to be honest uh, because as you know the New Day are in a feud with the Wyatts so uh, John Cena is I, I don't know to be honest it'll probably be a double tag team match like just normal uh, two on two match so the next uh, hit and preview is Sasha Banks our next WWE Women's Champion as you know she returned last week and Raw uh, delivered the bank statement or the backbreaker uh, to Charlotte. I don't really say bank statement, but it would have been a crossface as well. But yeah, so to be honest, I think they should, they need to drop the women's champion immediately from Charlotte. Uh, I don't think it'll be at Battleground because probably Dana Brooke will get um, intervene and cause a disqualification for Sasha Banks. Uh, to be honest, I think it'll involve around SummerSlam so that Sasha Banks will win the Women's champion Championship against uh, Charlotte. So the next one is, will the Wyatt family put the New Day's power positivity to the test? So as you know, last week the Wyatts returned to Raw finally after two months of speculation. When uh, Bray Wyatt got injured, they took the whole Wyatt family off there. I don't know, they should have kept them on to be honest. I know without the leader and nothing. But they would have had like amazing tag team matches and single matches as they do always. So they're gonna feud up to Battleground probably. I think they're gonna do a, a tag team championship which the New Day are probably gonna retain obviously. So yeah, will this uh, happen on tonight on Raw? Will they defend the WWE tag team championships against the Wyatts? Hopefully, I want to see Bray Wyatt in a tag team match, in the tag team championship match shot, instead of Braun Strowman and Eric Rowan in a way. But you never know what's going to happen on Raw, anything could happen. <laughs> so yeah, they're probably going to like brawl and start a attack and a fight to be honest. So who will gain, the next one, who will gain key momentum three weeks before the WWE brand extension draft? Now this is an important one to be honest. So that, as you know, the draft is coming up. We don't know, uh, it's on 19th of July. So who do you think it will be branded to different areas of Raw and SmackDown? I want to like question with main event actually, I don't know, will it still be in the WWE uh, programming and superstars as well? Because they're going to have like separate shows as you know like 10 years ago, a decade, let's just say a few years back, they, um, they stopped the draft and the extension, they made it all one show which I thought was rubbish. But anyway, as you know now, they have better people and NXT superstars are going to become uh, Raw superstars and Smackdowns in the draft. So what are your opinion on the draft and the brand extension being back? As you know, the authority, Shane McMahon is going to run Raw and Stephanie will run Smackdown. So I don't know about this, but make sure to tune in to Raw. If you enjoyed this uh, video, make sure to leave a like and share for more awesome content and I'm going to be producing more concept for WW2K17 and later on this evening there's going to be a custom scenario obviously so uh, see you guys later bye and subscribe bye find out what it's like to be victimized in Suplex City